Hi, Practical Readers. This week on Practical Parenting, we're talking about teaching kids the art of social skills, just some basic social skills to get them conversing with other kids and playing together. And one place where kids struggle is starting a conversation. We often start the conversation for them. How was your day at school? Who did you sit with at snack? What did you play when you were outside? But then when they're together, they don't know where to start. So one technique that I've come up with is called the gab bag. And it's really easy and it's a fun thing that you can do during family meals or during family playtime. You just take any old bag and you fill it with a bunch of specific questions about things that kids generally like to talk about. What's your favorite part of Christmas? What's your favorite sport? Why do you like playing soccer? Do you like blue better? Do you like red better? What's your favorite color of the rainbow? And you pass the bag around and you have your child pick out a question. So I'm gonna pick out, do you like to swim in a pool or in the ocean? And the only rule is that your child has to ask everybody else at the table first before they answer the question. So they would ask daddy, do you like to swim in a pool or in the ocean? And they would wait for daddy's answer. And because daddy's a grown up, he would maybe explain why he likes to swim in the ocean better than a pool. And that gives kids some basic questions that they can ask and they start to remember them over time. And they think about, oh, these are interesting topics that other kids might like to talk about. Most adults have mastered the art of leading with a compliment when they see someone they haven't seen in a while or when they're just meeting up for a coffee or for a play date. They often lead in with something nice. Hey, I really like your hair. That's a great purse. Where did you get it? It's just something that we've internalized over time and we learn how to do. And what's great about leading with a compliment is it makes the other person feel good and it starts a conversation. Oh, I picked up this purse on sale at Macy's the other day. It goes back and forth. Kids are impulsive and they are also egocentric by design. So they're not necessarily paying attention to what other kids are wearing or what other kids are doing when they first encounter them. They're thinking about themselves more often than not. And so it's important to teach kids how to make other people feel good because that makes a conversation more comfortable and it makes it easier to start the back and forth between kids. So this game is called Surprise Compliments and it's really fun to play at home with, as a family or if you have kids over for a play date, it's a great group game. And if there are any teachers in the crowd, this is an excellent social skills activity to do in the classroom. And it's really simple. And then there's two variations on it. With younger kids, you're going to want to blow up the balloons in advance and do the writing on the balloons. And I'll explain how you can do this with older kids in a minute. So all you need are some balloons, one for each kid, and you want them to be, you want each kid to have a different color balloon. And you're gonna start by explaining what a compliment is and why a compliment feels good. I like your hair, you're very funny, you tell great stories, you're really good at soccer, just basic kid compliments that they would come up with. You wanna explain why that feels good and why it's nice to say something like that to someone. And then you have each child whisper a compliment to you and you write that compliment on their balloon. So this one says you are funny, and this one says you tell great stories. Once each kid has a compliment written on their balloon, turn on some music um, and have them just play a good old-fashioned game of balloon. Try to keep the balloons in the air as long as possible. They're going to have fun. They're going to jump around. They're going to pass back and forth to each other. And after a few minutes, when it seems to be winding down or all the balloons are landing on the ground, you're going to cue the kids to pick a balloon that is not the color that they started with. So they're going to pick a different balloon and each one of them will hold on to the balloon and you will go around the room and you will read the compliments out loud to each kid so they each get a surprise little compliment from a friend that they didn't expect to get. And you're gonna see that the kids are gonna smile and feel good about themselves because it always feels good to get a compliment. With older kids, you can do this in a different way. You can put the compliment on a little piece of paper. If you're great at soccer. You can fold up the, the paper and put it actually into the balloon and then blow up the balloons and tie them and play the balloon game. And then at the end of it, you can either pop the balloons or sort of cut them at the very base and let the air out slowly so that it doesn't make a loud popping sound. Warning on this one, if you have any kids that are startled by loud noises, particularly kids with autism or Asperger's, don't do the popping, write it on the outside of the balloon. Uh, but if you just have kids who don't mind a surprise or don't mind popping the balloon, and some kids like to do it, they take a pencil and they pop it and the compliment comes flying out and they can read it to themselves. It's kind of a fun game to play and a great way for kids to learn how to make each other feel good.